For question 23 and 24, both of these questions are concentration questions, molarity questions. And remember, molarity is moles per liter. So our first question is, what is the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 20 grams of sodium chloride in water to make 150 milliliter solution? Remembering that molarity is moles per liter. I have a mass, I need to find moles. And I have a volume in milliliters, I need to convert that to liters. Right, I have 150 milliliters. Let's just do the easiest thing first. Right, I know that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Right, I have 0.15 liters of solution. So now to find moles. Well, I know I have 20 grams of NaCl, and I know if I go to the periodic table of the elements, I look up sodium is 23 grams per mole, chloride is 35.45. So for one mole of sodium chloride, it would need to have 58.45 grams of sodium chloride. So I have approximately 0.3417 moles of sodium chloride. I have that amount, right, in 0 0.150 liters, moles per liter. So I want to divide how many moles I have of sodium chloride by my volume in liters to determine that this solution is approximately 2.28 molar. For significant figures, I've got four significant figures here in my mass. However, I have three significant figures here in my volume. I should report the answer to three significant figures because of that. So 2.28 molar. And be careful with this question because your mass of sodium chloride might be different than mine. The steps would be the same even if that amount of sodium chloride is different. The next question, 24, 24 is a little bit more challenging in that we're asked to kind of go the opposite direction. We're asked what mass in grams of sodium carbonate you would have to add to 100 milliliters of water to make a 0.2 molar aqueous solution. So this is the exact opposite direction of the calculation because previously they gave us mass, asked for concentration. This time they gave us concentration and ask for mass. So as I've said many times in this course, you should be comfortable doing these calculations from any direction, from start to finish, or the finish back to the start. So let's see. I have a volume and I have a concentration. Well, I know that this concentration, 0.2 molar, is equal to 0.2 moles per liter. That's what the volume tells me, that many moles per liter. Well, I need to find moles because if I find moles, then I can find mass. Well, I know that this is my concentration in 100 milliliters. So let's convert that to liters before we get too far in, right? I know that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. This is 0.1 liters. So I have 0.2 moles I want liters to cancel out. I want to be left with moles. So I have 0.2 moles per liter. Of that solution, I have one-tenth right, of that solution. So I would expect to have one-tenth the moles. So I have 0 0.02 moles. Now that I have moles, I can find the mass because I know for every one mole of sodium carbonate, I would need to have 105.98 grams. That's given to me by the molar mass. So for mass to three significant figures, my concentration is three significant figures, my volume is four significant figures, so I'm gonna go to three significant figures on this answer. So for mass, I would expect to have to add 2.12 grams of sodium carbonate to this solution to make a 0.2 molar solution. So question 23 is a pretty straightforward and direct question. 20, question 24 should be 
straightforward as well because we're just doing the steps in the opposite direction. We're going from concentration to mass.